you're going to get three and a half on this side. That's fine. Okay. Well, that should be an eight inch block. It is. Cool. Yep. Right, so we're saying it's pocketed in there by at least uh, four and a half, right? Can we open that up so Andrew can take a look? At least four that? inches no, why we of the beam. Yeah, yes. so now, if you get the whole beam in there, great. Yeah. If you so want to notch it, I'm saying you can notch the masonry inside. Right, I mean, we'll go over as far over as we can. Yeah. Right, okay. Two shoring, two by on the bottom, two on top, or just one? You go on one. Okay. And that's 660. What do you do with the heart? Mark, probably. So we're, we're going to have one. We won't be able to pick up that joist because of the heart in here, I don't think. Oh, wait. No, we, 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 two inside. So what's your recommendation? We, we, we could send that all the way over. I mean, it'll, it'll pick it up some. And then we can just like ride it over there with, with a separate, you know what I mean? Like a little notch up. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not worried about that end as much. It, it'll, it'll still be picked up. I got you. I got that point. Okay. And then upstairs, we're going to do this a, a similar. Well, let's, take, let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. Flacker, you stay with me, man. So we, we, we could stick together on this. It's more over this way, I think. Yeah. Wait, where did you, when you measured before, you measured right. where that wall is downstairs. It's like, it's back that way, right? Mm hmm it Yeah, it's like over there. Okay, so it, it does go into there, yeah. It goes into marble. This, yeah. So you can use this, this is your shoring wall right here. Right, okay. that's what I was thinking. So that covers this side, and then you're saying we might need something over in here. Well, if these, if these rafters come here and they, they basically splice here, I'm going to yeah. say leave that big because you, you may push on that marble yeah. and crack it. Yeah. So this is going to be your shoring wall here. Now over, over here, again, these joists go over here, no problem. Mm -hmm. You may forgo, forgo the uh, shoring wall. So we because we have this because we have this one here. Right. So you don't think we need one in here? No. It, I mean... But you We're have, right at the you end here. Have access to the attic at all? Through there. And up. Yeah. Okay. So I was okay. you know, tail, I mean, should be going from here. That should be your barrel wall for the ceiling. So we're good here. They are. Okay. Ceiling joists go bare on top of there, bare on top of here, and then they they overlap here. Same same issue. Okay. Okay. Then, so we're good. In the yeah. basement. Yeah, let's look in the basement. So, so basically this is this is shoring right here. Um, the, the, the question, the question, the question is, where, where is your wall here? Is it, is it close? Uh, that close is right there. Close is right here about. Yeah. So your wall is obviously the wall above here is running on this line but on the, top of the this. beam is close to this or do we know? Beam is right here. here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where that beam line. Okay. So I'd say you got this already. You know, again, maybe maybe you have one right here. Okay. Just to just to help support this a little bit, even though it ends right there. Right. Uh, okay. I mean, wherever you are up above, stack stack it, stack it down here. So okay. that that and then post, you, I think, is right around here. Okay. So, so wherever the post is going to come down, we should shore it. Well. So, uh, Brandon, I would probably, I would probably, you know, look at your shortest distance and say you either go here or you're, or you're going here. But I mean, the the beam is close. Just measure measure off. But I would just say you're just looking at one stud wall here. All right, and the lolly columns, where where we see, like, there's going to be one here, right? Because it's continuing from from upstairs, right? But we're we're gonna, these beams aren't sufficient. You're saying. Yeah, here, here I have John. So existing, this is three two by eights, and then you're gonna you're gonna sister with two LVLs, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna post post down. Okay, so it's gonna go all the way. 
follow this one all the way down to there. Right. It's going to split here and then continue? Yeah. Okay. One on either side. So for that to happen, that header has got to come out. Well, you can put them both, both on this side. Oh, I can put them both on that side. Okay. All right. So they both come across, two come to here, and then another two come across following that all the way through. So then you'd have... I that, right that, goes, that goes up so into this return. this return. Yeah. So, Andrew... I, 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 that, that's a post up. There's no post, there's no post down. There's no post right so there? So basically, this, this header is supporting that post. Post up. Okay. I, I have no post down. Uh, so we so don't need a post there. one post down here. Where now? I, I basically have two, two posts up there. So I, I, I have no post down. So you don't have any lallies going in? No. Which is, well, I was confused on why you were throwing more in here. Right. So you're saying... This is undersized for post for post up. Post up. If you guys want to leave it as is and post down, then you eliminate the LDLs. You got to say go LDLs. That, that, I, I say go with the column. Because, I mean, I think that's that's strong enough, especially with a column underneath it, don't you? It's, it's really your call. You, well, what, you what, 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 what do you think? I mean, it, it is ultimately up to you. Uh, I, I'd probably go with the LDLs. Because I'm looking at, the last thing I want to do is introduce more, a lot more posts than I have right. to. For, for sell my house. Right. But it's, I, mean, I mean, if there was ever to be a post anywhere, that's not getting in the way of anything. It's right by the steps, and if this I, I, basement is finished, that that's good. we can conceal that whole post in there. On, you guys sleep on it. Okay. All right. I think it's cheaper and quicker to go this. So when you're so if we're putting two seven and a quarter LDLs here, are we then uh, through bolting all the way? You just shoot nails. So right now it looks like oh, you're shutting nails now. It's you, glued and nailed. It's just yeah, glue's not doing much. It's, it's basically the nails. Yeah, I mean that, that, that that's not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah. You just, so so you I don't go. need to to no. to through bolt. No. You just got. You just got. I and mean, we could put a couple in there. I don't care. It's, yeah. It's up well, to I mean, you. That, that way you don't have to cut into the slab. You don't have to pour concrete. You don't. Well, the concrete to me, to to put these LBLs in is a lot more work to put that than to put that column in. You know what I mean? And to me, if it's six in one hand, half a dozen in another. Mm -hmm. I do the same thing on the other side. Right. Okay. Yeah, because you have this one. See this one here that somebody somebody put temporarily, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, and this is the dead space where the storage area is. Actually, like, you wouldn't, I don't like. Then we don't have to put a post in the middle. No, of the exactly. So I think we should do LVLs. So you're gonna just drop the duct work enough, get get your LVLs in there now, and then you're you're on the wall and you're on the beam. Yeah. All right. All right, let me think that through. You're saying LBLs without columns, yeah, or columns. Now, if we, all right, I'm not saying we have to do it. I'm just, I just want to make sure we ha have our options available to mm -hmm. us. So, if we don't go the LBLs, right, what we have here is sufficient as long as we support it with a column. Right. You're probably right? looking at two foot by two foot footing by twelve inches deep. Right. Plus with a slab. And if we put a column there, would we put one here as well? Well. I got I got two two posts coming down on each side of the door, and that's what the LVLs are picking up. Right, but if the LVAs aren't there, like if we go with this the columns, then you would then need two columns, right? You would need one here to pick up directly below where that other post is. You probably, you probably don't need this post here because it's close enough to the beam and it's going to transfer. You're you're going to tell me exactly when you find it above. You they'll screw in it down and say there's a post. Right. And you've got to probably remove this, you know, car cardboard. Yeah, just right there. So, so you know where you're at. Okay, so just teasing it out. So if we went with no LBLs and we, we put a column here, would we then want to pick up at least over in this area this with a column? I mean, I can't see it hurting. It's, it's overstressed as is. So, yeah, if you, pick, you put a post there, it's probably fine at that point. Okay. Okay, I, I just wanted so to see. So you're either sistering LBLs to carry the load for post ops, right? Or you're posting down, right? We didn't we didn't post down in the design, right? Okay. I'd like to follow. Uh, yeah, I'd like to follow. I think the LBLs. 
It's gonna be, regardless of what we have to do, we have to take out this section of ductwork to get up in here. The thing that stinks is, um, you know, we might have to just move some stuff over here. Like, you know, I might have to adjust my, my uh, sewage line there if I can handle it. All right, we, we, at least we have the options, and we could tease yeah. it out together. Okay? I mean, the, the, the good thing is, um, I mean, this is essentially we figured, so, um, you know, when you and I talked, we said, okay, we're going to have to post down, post down with a lolly column and, and a footer, but then we're also going to have to figure sistering. So, so far, I mean, just between the two of us, we the only thing that, that you didn't figure in your price was sistering this, this span from here to here. From there to there. and. Yeah. The, the plumbing and also um up top there it's going to be a little bit different than before what i thought with all the joists were going this way mm -hmm. to join them where that one is and cutting that out without dealing with that floor above that's going to be a little bit of an issue but ended up i had video of everything and so i knew and so i actually drew the framing plan for andrew and then yeah. he kind of made comments and everything so okay i don't think it should vary all that much except for I do want, before Andrew leaves, I do want to take a look at the connection to see if we can get four inches of bearing on that on that CMU because I have a hunch that, you know, similar to what they did on the top of the wall here, they'll have an eight inch CMU, but then they'll put like a, a solid block here. It's like a uh, rim joist. Mm -hmm. And then they'll just bear a couple inches. And so um, I just want to take a look at that because it is okay. hollow CMU. So, you know, if you hit a flange, you could, you could blow out if you don't have good bearing. So okay all right well they're see how far they got up there we could see a little bit so, more. so do i need to have bearing because they did a cmu pocket there and i got yeah I got, I got no problem pocketing into that you know. so do you need me to bear on that side or i, I would bear on the wall you're gonna get a little bit here which is great mm -hmm. you're gonna just shoot it in okay. yeah and you can stop you can take this thing out and yep. extend it okay Gotcha. You think it's a huge issue if I don't chip out all the CME there? Not a huge. Okay. No. So we're really just sistering some up here. And, I'm and basically adding bending versus, I'm not worried too much about the shear. Mm -hmm. and, gotcha. and, th and this beam here could be the same, a seven inch. Or, okay. And the same with those LBLs going across yep. as well. Yep. Okay. They're, they're all LBLs. I mean, I, I'm just seeing a li little smile mm -hmm. that it's slightly overstressed. Well, and, and you also made the comment that these also need to be sistered at some point. I get the flushing upstairs, too. If you get parties, that's your, that's your bounce. But you got a wood floor. Yeah. They can, they can take it. Nothing's yeah. split yet. But if you yeah. want, want to say, hey, you're bringing all the family in yeah. and tighten this up, double it with just two by. Yeah. Well, Alex is probably going to be helping me out with the basement down here. So maybe that, that I can tail you into that. And that way you can frame all at once. You know? Okay. So, okay. It's just amazing how, how uh, in, in 1952, how they didn't, they didn't uh, calc all the lumber. I mean, look, at, it's, uh, I don't know what the span is. Uh,